I'm Aaron Michael Ritchie. And I'm Cody May. And this is the Colorado Author Interview Circle. Season two. And today we're talking with Lisa Hawker. Hi. Now what's on the book? Now what's your official, because I know you're... L.S. Hawker. L.S. Hawker. Yes. And your book like is it. The Drowning Game. The Drowning Game, yes. And this is, now tell us a little bit about the book and kind of the pitch. The pitch. Oh gosh, that's always been the hard part, right? Um, it is about oh. a 21-year-old woman who has been a uh, prisoner in her own home. Um, since she was three, since her mother died. Her father is kind of a survivalist kind of nut. Um, he has trained her in hand-to-hand -hand combat and weapons and Krav Maga and knives Krav and so forth. Yes, okay. all the good stuff. Yeah. Um, when he dies, she finds out that he has made arrangements for her to continue to be a prisoner. So she has to escape, and she oh. does to find out um, what really happened to her mother. How is she a prisoner? Uh. Because he, uh, there, he locks her in a room every every night. Six locks on the bedroom door. There are bars in all the windows, and he's extremely paranoid. They don't go to doctors, any of those kinds of things. Because he's a survivalist, your, and well, yes. And then the story question <laughs> we'll is, find is out. what happens once she gets out into the larger world? Correct. Uh, and how weird it is to be out in the world after being in a house. Her whole life. Pretty much. I mean, she had a job at the dump, which is a quarter mile from the house, but she just sticks her arm out the window and says, five dollars, please. And, and So it's just really this isolating... Very much. Now, in the middle was, of Kansas, yes. And so what is the genre? It's a thriller. So it's a thriller. It's a thriller, yeah. And it's yeah. published with uh, Witness Impulse yes. by Harper which Collins. is Collins, yeah. Awesome. So tell us... Yeah, so when did you story. start... Okay, so let's start at the beginning. Okay. The Earth is <laughs> the <cooling>. beginning. <laughs> Many, well, yeah. Hundreds of millions of years. No, actually, no, it wasn't. It wasn't actually, I started that in February of 2013. And um, it took me about three months to do the first draft and then about another year to kind of massage it and so forth. Massage it. Anyway, so I pitched Michelle Johnson of Inklings Literary in April at the uh, Pike Peak. Peak. Right. And this was in 14. 2014. Wow. And uh, she was like, oh, dude, that sounds awesome. Send it to me. Send me the full. So I was like, okay. So I, you know, made a few changes, sent it to her in June, then don't, and then crickets, hear nothing. Oh, know? I hate that. Well, <laughs> you know, it's the usual. Thing. Now, did you start the next project? Uh, no, I was still kind of working on that and also sending Just it out. Just tenderizing it. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, pretty okay. much, yeah. Gotcha. And All so, right. um, so several months go by and I figure, okay, nothing's going to happen. That's fine. We've been through this before. So then on Super Bowl Sunday last year, February 2nd, 2015, February 2nd. I get this email saying, hey, could you take a phone call later today? And I'm thinking, she doesn't want a phone call if she's going to tell me that she's rejecting me. So we got on the phone. And the Patriots like, are playing, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> right, right, because, yeah, they always do. So, so I was like, yeah. So we get on the phone. She says, I really want this. She says, I want to get this out to the Big Five this week. Here are the changes you need to make. So I stayed up oh. all night that night, da, 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 sent it off to her. She had it to them by Wednesday. Within 50 days, she sold it to HarperCollins, a three-book deal with an option for a fourth. 50 days, a three-book deal with HarperCollins. So the first one, Holy so crap. Drowning Game, came out September 22nd. Um, the next one, which is called Body and Bone, another Ooh, thriller, like um, comes out May 3rd. Listen. And then the third one... Well, you know, will be sometime in 16 also. Now, this is a huge success. My gosh. It's really it's like exciting. whatever, what all gonna, of us want. Now, this is a you hard have. question. Have you had anybody in your little circle that kind of sour grapes you, that kind of... No, you know. Oh, that's, awesome. that's so good. good. Well, I mean... Because I'm already be sour grapes. <laughs> I already don't like you. I didn't even think that. And I can't see that. No, Kidding. seriously. I mean, it is. It's the best critique group in the world called yeah. Because Magic. Um, I actually have been part of this critique group since 2003 when I had a totally different wow. lineup. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I flogged this one book before the Drowning Game. <laughs> Probably <laughs> nine years. Wow. Isn't that pathetic? No, no. that no. happens. You know what I mean? That happens. Yeah. So anyway, so this has been really nice and fast. Um, I have had very little time to write the second book for HarperCollins. It has been an intense experience. God, I bet, but really a good intense. experience. Yeah, good I problems mean, on and off have. between, yeah. you know, bouts of wanting to k kill myself and, <laughs> you know, going, boy, do I suck, and what was I thinking, and who do I think I am, and all oh, that, all the no, stuff, all the things, now so that we all do. Is this your first publishing experience, or yes. have you self-published before? No, I so didn't. So your first publishing experience, you're with a 
Big Five traditional house. Yeah, that's incredible. With an agent. With Shocking. an agent. Shocking. And Michelle's so nice. Oh, she I is know. fabulous. She yeah. is, and she works her. I'm not envious. I mean, I'm just not envious. <laughs> I'm not. No, but that's really nice that you have a group of people who are really celebrate because that can happen, right? Yes. You, there's where somebody gets successful and then there's... It's like when winning the lottery. We were just talking about that. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Everyone but, hates yeah. you. Oh, yeah, but these, we, we are a very them. celebratory group. That's that's no great. matter that's what awesome. happens, we have tons of parties. That's great. So, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Okay, so you have a three-book contract. Yes. Now, now, is Ble- now, what's the name of the second one? Uh, Body, Body and, and Bone. Body and Blown. Is that a sequel it or is, is it a totally separate? No, here's the funny part is that before I sold this, I was 30,000 words into the sequel. Oh, to this. Okay. okay. So you had a decent chunk out. <laughs> so they were like, oh, no, we don't want that. They said, but we'll give you a week to come up with two, with two or three pages. other ideas. So within a week, I'm like, a week? What the? How? Yeah, how do you gotta let it cook in your so, head? Uh, right. But believe me, I took a week and just went, uh, I, uh, 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 Quit your job. Right, right. <laughs> oh, no. Actually, I did, did you have, quit? I had to quit my job after I got the contract because that's all I do now is, you know, is right. as really? best as I can. Yeah, because I've got to gotta keep this thing up. So, oh. And what's really fun right now is that it's a Kindle monthly deal, so that it's 99 cents on Amazon, Kobo, iBooks, Barnes & Noble, all that stuff. And my rankings are through the roof because That's of this awesome. crazy 99 cent deal. Right. It is really exciting. All right. So, yeah. You're, li- you're living the dream. You're living the, living the dream. That's dreams. awesome. And you get to talk to Cody Maynard. Well, Cody. yeah. It's, right? You're, no, you're this is so far out of our league. Now, this is <laughs> No, 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 no. This is like icing on the uh, cake. No, here's, no, no, All no, of no, this no. is come, good. Come but... back. Come back. I, I Join us, me. Cody. Yes, please. Fine. Because I want us all to rise together. Yeah. That is my thing. I want us <laughs> all you. to succeed. I do. So I have a manuscript. I'd like you to send it. <laughs> okay. Just I kidding. Right on that. Gosh. Now, now your now the book now the journey game. Mm-hmm. I'm you're 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 telling me about kind of about the premise. Yes. And I kept, and so I'm I'm trying to get better at subtext and like you know kind of right. underlying themes. Not like be so layers. on the nose with everything. Right. <laughs> So so far it's just totally on the I'm way. going to kill <laughs> you. <laughs> but at this but in your book there's this kind of subtext of being trapped in kind of this kind of That's right. Is it a subtext though? Oh yeah. I mean um, she's but there's like kind of but, but I mean there's trapped. but there's different levels of being trapped. Sure. Like well, being trapped in an abusive relationship or being sure. trapped in Sure. But and that's it's funny you bring that up because one of the things that has totally informed this character is that right before uh, I started writing this my younger daughter, not this one over here, Chloe, but my younger daughter, Layla, was diagnosed with autism at 13 oh. years of age, um, wow. which is a very difficult, That's it's been difficult sure. her whole life. Well, I was writing along, and I put my first chapter through my critique group, and Mike Haspel says to me, it's really weird, nobody knew about the diagnosis at this point, but Mike says, it's funny because this character seems, I don't know, like autistic, and I went, light bulb, oh my gosh, I'm writing my daughter because as an autistic you tend to miss social cues sure. like somebody sure. who had never been around people um so my daughter Weird. has That's... experienced being locked in in a sense yeah. she's going through this fabulous therapy right now it's really drawing her out um so yes you're right on you're actually figured that out very nice that's awesome so, yeah Wow. But that and that's and that's the power of, of the story right because there's the story at this right. level and then there's kind of the story at this level that's kind of and can be all the universal, soils, right? Exactly. The soil, exactly. the or the water, as the case may be. Yeah, <laughs> as the the drowning. How did you? Okay, we were just talking with About our titles. last um, titles. author. Do you title it? Life. No, but that's a great. That's it's a, a good great. Title. I like the awesome original. Title. The original title was Deep Forbidden Lake. Okay. That's Just, right, because we talked about that that's before. Right. I like the drowning. That's, right. that's a great title. Well, I was married to, to the Deep Deeper Forbidden Lake because it's yeah. the name of a Neil Young song. Oh my god, dude! I love Neil Young. Yeah. To have that, yeah. to have that illusion. That's great. Yeah, Neil Young. Yeah. So did you? Did you come up with this, or did the publisher? No, my uh, my genius editor did. It's a great title. With the you second one, it. I I love it now. At Good. first, I was like, <laughs> Deep Forbidden Lake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing to me? Yeah, yeah, it's mine. It's me. But with my second book, Body and Bone, again, I Mike love Haspel that title. from my from my uh, critique just came rolls up with that. off the tongue. And Mike Glasses Haspel, like, we want we I want Mike's Mike will someday be in this chair. He's yeah. He, he is, is a genius. We can't get Mike. And hilarious. He is a and genius. And so much fun. I love Mike Haspel. And a great critique partner. Oh, yeah, so. I can't imagine. And as I all the rest guess. of them are, so you know, Mark Graham, Laura Main, um, Vicky Pierce. 
uh, Claire Fishback, Deirdre Byerly, I have to name them all, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> is this like the Oscar? Chris, is this like the, the music's going to start? Chris Senna. Um, who? Huh? Lynn. Lynn. Oh, Lynn. Lynn. Lynn, who's taking a hiatus right now. <laughs> who have I missed? Oh, Nicole. Of course, of course, Nicole Green. So I think I got everybody, and if I didn't, I'm going to hear them. <laughs> Oh man! Well, well thank well. you so much. <laughs> now, LS LS Hawker. Hawker. Is there anything else you want to? I think we've covered everything. Well, I so hope like everything. It. But in the and in May we're gonna get the second one. We yes. have the third one. Yes. yes. And then don't do the fourth. And the movies coming and, out. Yeah. Twentieth well, no. Century Fox does have the manuscript right now. <laughs> Lisa Hawker, too hot to hit. God, well, um, well thank, thank you. you so much for coming. We, we're excited to see the movie. Thank I, you, thank this you. has been the Colorado Author Interview Circle. I'm Aaron Michael Ritchie. And I'm Cody May. Stay spicy, Denver. Stay classy, Denver. Sexy. Sassy. <laughs> Alapeno. Alapeno.